go roll DeFi. When I go to full sex, I go to go roll DeFi and click on exchange. That is the IPFS gateway uh, director to Pulse X. And then um, go to farms. So if we go to farms, we can see numbers went up. Uh, recently I talked about this. So on Twitter, I made a tweet, I believe, earlier today. I was looking at some people talk about it. I'm like, hmm, that is interesting. So Pulse X Inc. farming coming great again. Uh, you know, I was when Pulse Chain first launched, Inc went up more than everything else, went up to 70, 80 bucks. And then a few months after that, it went down farther than everything else. It went down to it was around 40 cents or so. So you can imagine uh, for a while there, especially when it was sitting in the 30, 40, $50 range, it was just incre incredible yield farming. I mean, just really amazing stuff. So back then, I mean, if you had, you know, 10, 20, 30, $40,000 and you were making bank every month, it was crazy. Uh, ink prices were high, liquidity was good, you know, just different things were being incentivized and it was amazing. You know, prices were, uh, prices were great, almost as great as they are now. Um, so, well, of course they were, they were a little bit better back then, but uh, I think we're in 2024. So 10 K in the PLS Inc. So if we go there, um, we'll just check it out. So th there's different farms. I'll go over the farms real quick. So you add liquidity for these different pairs. And then, so you, you basically become an LP provider and then you stake that LP position to yield farm and you earn the ink token. So then there's different pairs you can do it. Some are more risky, some are less risky. I'm not going to go over the different risks and stuff. I literally go to go, go to click, click farming, learn to earn click farming. I've covered ink. I've co covered LP with different people and there's tons of tutorials and give you different nuance and different risks. And you know, what is, what is the doing stable coin pairs versus not and different uh, strategies and it has silently sell over LP positions over a period of time, cover all this stuff a bunch of times on the show already. So I got a ton of content on that. I just, just go to the yield farming playlist. And again, this video will be added to that playlist automatically I already added it in there. So you go there and then uh, you decide what you want to do. Do you want to do so you can see the APRs, you can kind of think of them as uh, the risk factor in a way too. And that's, very high level speaking, but uh, you can see that you're 20%, you know, uh, that's, you'll be earning less ink, for example, on if you participate in these farms versus if you do a stable coin. Uh, and again, I'm not going to go through all the mechanics, but I got a ton of content on it as far as why and all that stuff is. But I think the most, for me, the farms I really like, I think are the most interesting uh, for this point in time and maybe before even as well are the ink farms. Uh, and ink is one of these things. This went from like this super suspicious. Why is this thing have value? Why is it going up so much? Uh, thing to, oh, see, look, I told you it was the dump forever token. I told you it was the down token. See, everyone got rid of it. To now it's like, um, well, in our tweet that it was like, kind of like it could be leverage on Pulse and Pulse X type of thing. And hasn't it did like a 20X or something? I don't know what the numbers are. It's just, hasn't done some like crazy numbers. Hasn't it went up more? Everything else again too? And everyone's like, oh yeah, ink, that's cool. Like, it's really revitalized the farms. That's why I always said my position on ink has never changed. Um, it's always been, this thing is important to the ecosystem and it needs to be valuable. It needs to be valuable. So uh, people come here and build farm and they, they get something of value. So it, it has to be valuable whether it has utility now or later or, or never, we'll see. But I think these farms are the most interesting because they, they for me, they're a balance of, they're, to me, again, what I believe uh, for my portfolio, my time horizon, my capital and stuff, they're not, they're, they're one of the, the uh, less risky ones and the high reward ones. So the ROI is very good for these, in my opinion, for my, for my, in my position, for example, could be different for you. Just telling you what I personally think. And if you go to, for example, the pulse one, so this is, you can do ink pulse, you can do ink PLS, uh, and basically you have equal sides, you, you put them in, you provide liquidity, you stake them and you earn ink over time. So in the tweet example, I was talking about $10,000 um, at the current rates. And again, these could go up, I, you know, I suggested in the tweet too. Uh, does that double? Like it's been rising. I think it they might have already doubled uh, one time. Does that double again? You know, do we start getting 100%? Before when the first farm first came out, you know, I have to look at some old screenshots, but I believe, I believe they were in the hundreds of percent maybe 100, 200, 300%, 400%. It's been a while. 
it was a very cold and brutal bear market. But if I remember correctly, they were in the low hundreds per percent uh, for some time. So in the chat, feel free to chime in. But it was literally incredible. And the ink price was so much too. So it was, it was amazing. So 10K, uh, back to the example. So 10K will do it uh, monthly is around 500 bucks a month at current rates. Now, what if the ink price goes up? What if the APR goes up? What if all these things increase? Again, this used to be, I, I, you know, I don't remember exactly, but I'd have to look up some old tweets and screenshots and, and videos. I did a ton of content, but I believe this was, you know, in the thousands of dollars instead of the hundreds of dollars. So will that happen again? And Pulse Chain launched in a bear market. A lot of hype, a lot of, you know, fervor, a lot of just excitement. It was amazing times for those few months, but again, not in favorable macro conditions. So ink is going up, pulse is going up for a variety of factors we covered and we'll continue to cover as well. What if this number goes up? What if all of a sudden, you know, at a 1K, 5K, 10K investment, you are making hundreds of dollars per month or thousands of dollars per month. How does that fit in, fit into your passive income model? Even back then, I'm sure plenty of people were thinking, man, how does this, you know, I'm making, I'm making thousands of dollars uh, per month right now. Can I, you know, can I use this? Can I lean on this for passive income now? Now, thankfully, you know, I mean, maybe, maybe some people did and some people didn't, but uh, if you were to look at the broader picture, you know, maybe some, you know, some people were more uh, okay with risk and not okay with risk, but you saw what happened. The ink price went down. And that was, you know, it was, it was for the macro condition stuff. You could, you could say, you know, many people may say that it was, Hey, it wasn't a time for that to be sustainable. However, you look at the time now, if we're in a bull market, we're entering a bull market, we're halfway through a bull market, whatever it is. And again, you, if you believe this ecosystem can do mad gains, if you believe in Hart's law and liquidity bonding, and um, you know, whether you believe in Richard's story for glory or anything else like that, I personally believe uh, that it's possible for all kinds of uh, numbers that seem crazy. Uh, I, I certainly hope to see them. I don't, I don't think it's out of impossibility to even, because we did, already did it before, like last year, it's already happened once and it was unbelievable. And that was an unfavorable condition. So I'm very excited about this again, hex taking, uh, hex taking ladders, super exciting uh, as well. And then yield farming another way. Uh, again, if you own ink, you own PLS, you own PLSX, whatever it is, you can pair them up and have another opportunity at passive income there as well. So I'll go to the tweet I did earlier. I did a poll and uh, I'll ask you all to give me an answer here. So which one are y'all using for passive income? Uh, this, this crypto bull market. I know there's a lot of different ways. There's a lot of different products and stuff. I'm just, these are the, the mainstream, the, you know, the RH coin products and stuff like that. And there's a lot of different ones. I'm excited for Tetra coming out and a lot of different things too. Um, you know, I'm not much into NFTs, but you know, I, I do like to watch the NFTs, the yield bearing ones. I think gophers is very just intriguing and interesting and, and much more than monkey JPEG type stuff, which I'm, I'm not very interested in. And then you got squirrel and sloth uh, projects as well. And the Trinity deal and, and uh, I think they're starting something over there as well to, to be able to um, get liquidity and, and tokenize and, and stuff NFT. So those are much more interesting um, as well. But again, this is just kind of the mainstream deal. Somebody in chat, give me an answer. Looks like we got both. Boom. Thank you, Archie. Appreciate that. Archie's been around. He knows. I'll start singing the elevator music if somebody don't give me an answer. So appreciate that. Right now, 300 votes. Feel free. Get on there. Make your voice heard. And... Uh, and uh, vote in the polls so we can get some good numbers here. But um, yeah, a lot of people seem to be interested in ladders. It's literally going head to head with uh, just farming. And then, you know, a lot of people like both. So uh, there are plenty of opportunities in the ecosystem to earn yield, I believe, uh, this bull market. And yeah, we're really just kind of, I mean, if, if we're on the precipice of what I hope uh, we keep doing and keep seeing and no, there's no reasonable explanation why I could think of why uh, uh, I would tell myself why we wouldn't keep uh, going in the right direction here. I think, I think we're going to be much, much happier than they are right now. If they're able to, again, get good positions. Um, and again, not advising anyone to do anything. I'm just saying in general, I can imagine a world 
where people are very, very happy when the price goes up and they're earning yield and they're not getting hacked and they're in a secure product and uh, it's been battle tested and it's got a founder that's, uh, you know, in it for glory and, and the uh, billionaire genius founder guy who seems to be benevolent, uh, controversial, but benevolent in so many different ways. Um, I'm in, I'm in.